friends, this is a very special episode. I am so excited to introduce you to our friend and legendary Ottawa Valley fiddler, Brian Bear. Thank you for joining. I'm happy to be with you. Will you share some history about the Ottawa Valley style? It all started probably over a century ago. Various parts of Europe, immigrants arrived for a better life and uh, the area was built on the white pine. Many logging camps were built to support the, uh, the logging industry and to house uh, these workers from fall to spring. In time, anyone who didn't have a job uh, probably worked for one of those uh, logging companies to combat isolation and to entertain themselves during the evening hours. The camps were alive with the sound of fiddles. Loggers would share from their various uh, homelands the different tunes that they brought with them. And those who didn't play used to use their hobnail boots, little nails on the bottom with little knobs that would allow them to, to grip the logs. They would create a rhythm with their boots. Uh, to accompany the music. Uh, tunes and rhythms were created over time and passed on, and they became intertwined and uh, a simultaneous activity throughout the valley. Was Ottawa Valley fiddling popular when you grew up? Absolutely. There wasn't a dance hall, a hotel, a tavern, or a kitchen on Saturday night that wasn't filled with people uh, singing Ottawa Valley songs, listening to Ottawa Valley tunes. Party goers would show up after a long work week. Most players and dancers at that time were untrained or self-taught. Uh, so it's identified as a raw, simple, hard driving style with uh, short repeated patterns. The fiddle tunes are mostly designed to accompany stepping or other forms of dance. Over the years, fiddle music has taken on a more refined flavor with a few different North American styles, as well as uh, improvisation creeping in. But the spirit of our Ottawa Valley style is still strong and recognized throughout the traditional music world. Who were some of the fiddlers that you enjoyed listening to growing up? I was greatly uh, influenced by Ottawa Valley fiddlers Ward Allen and Reg Hill, and then later on uh, Graham Townsend. All three were Ottawa Valley fiddlers. I also listened to uh, Quebec legend Jean Carignan and Nova Scotia's John Henry Mooring and uh, other Canadian icons who are no longer with us, but we love to remember them. Thank you, Brian. Would you be willing to share one of your favorite tunes with us? I'd love to. Here's a reel uh, that Ward Allen wrote, Step Dancers Love It, and it's called Bread and Butter. <laughs> 